This is the Waterman Expert Deluxe, um, black with chrome trim. It also comes with a gold trim if you choose that finish. You can see it's got a chrome cap here and um, some engraving. And all of these rings that are engraved are kind of in groups and they kind of start to spread out more toward the end of the cap. There is the beveled um, cap with a little um, plain cap button. There's nothing engraved inside of that. And on the top of the pen clip here, there's a W for Waterman. If we look at the um, pen clip, it's kind of shaped like a men's necktie. It gets a little wider at the bottom, but there is a little perforation in the middle here. Um, just a simple cap or a simple ring, sorry, separating the body from the blind cap. It's a pull-off cap with an audible snap, which is nice. The pen that I'm reviewing today is a um, fine nib for Waterman, and it's also made of steel. Um, just a simple plastic feed on the back here. When you post it, it's 148 millimeters posted, so it's not an exceptionally long pen, nor is it um, really fat or skinny. It's about average width. Um, it is a very pretty pen, very classy. It's got a little, the pen itself is lacquer, and then it's got a little black ring kind of hand painted or enameled inside of that cap band. And the cap band itself says Waterman France on one side and the other side, or Waterman Paris on one side, the other side it does say France. If you want to see how it writes, let's take a look here. Get, sorry, I get my correct angle. So again, this is the fine nib. I'll have to adjust it so that you can see it. I've been using this pen for about a week or so. I don't know if you can see that super well, but um, I've been using this pen for about a week or so and have had no issues with ink starvation. Um, I write fairly fast when I'm not writing for the camera, and um, I never had any problems with skipping or hard starting, and this is using um, Waterman Blue ink cartridge. I guess I could show that to you if you're interested in seeing that. They're um, long. I like the ink capacity on the cartridges. I've been using this pen pen um, in my purse for about four or five days now at work and back home and so that's why um, there's a lot of ink gone but I do like to test them extensively so that I can write the reviews on my website at bestfountainpen.com. If you'd like to um, take a look at my website you'll find more detailed review of this pen and a lot of photos. So if you have any questions let me know.